What's up, everyone? I'm Chester. And this is Rob from Lincoln Park. And you can catch us all week on MTV Home Base. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun, actually. Um, we've, we've probably, well, I've personally had like a lot more fun here than, um, than anywhere else. I think the set coming up in a close second would be Australia. We had a really good time there, too. But uh, it's just that we've been welcomed so warmly here by our fans and also by the label and um, the people who are putting on the show. It's just been really nice and, and really friendly here. So. I like it a lot too. Just, uh, <laughs> same thing, uh, like Chacha said, it's just been a really warm welcome here. And uh, we went out and had a really good dinner last night. We had Kobe beef, um, and that was really, really good. I think that's the best uh, steak or beef I've ever had in my life. Definitely amazing. It feels, it's just, it's almost like. Somebody, I'm just waiting for somebody to pinch me and wake me up, you know? But um, it's it's something that we never expected. And and I think that, you know, we were we were shocked, like thoroughly shocked when, uh, when we released the album in the States at how well it did from the first week. And it's just maintained a really good, um, steady, you know, flow of sales. And, and then, you know, with the release of the album all across the world also and, and how well it's been received. Um, in other areas of the world, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of blowing us away, you know, it's almost surreal. The video for One Step Closer was our first video we ever shot, and um, we actually shot it in L.A. in this abandoned subway station that was shut down in the 1950s. Um, it was like 70 feet underground and the, the air was thick down there and we couldn't really breathe very well. And it was just nasty down there. So, <laughs> and we actually were stuck down there for like probably like 20 hours or something, just ridiculous. And uh, it, was, it turned out to be you know, a good video for our first video, I think. There was uh, these like monks and stuff hanging from the ceiling and uh, we don't know how they got there. They were just like kind of, <laughs> we're there and we got, you know, we're doing we the video. Up. So <laughs> we said, oh, you can stay and, and, and chill. For the video, but uh, it was cool. Chester got to hang upside down. That sucked. <laughs> it looked like his uh, head was gonna explode. After it felt like my head was gonna explode. That's like really like don't ever do that to yourself. There's people who buy those machines that they hang themselves from the ankles. You're out of your minds. It's the worst <laughs> thing you could ever do to yourself. I don't understand it. But yeah, overall, I think it was a good video, just showing like the performance and the energy of Lincoln Park. And uh, this is our video, one step closer. Break. What's up, everyone? I'm Chester. And this is Rob from Lincoln Park. And you can catch us all week on MTV Home Base. Watch how the moon sits in the sky on a dark night, shining with the light from the sun. The sun doesn't give the light to the moon, assuming the moon. Well, Chester and I are the most important, you know, in the band, so. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, well, we've got, uh, we've got a bunch of people in the band. There's six of us all together. Um, Mike Shinoda is also another vocalist, and both, both he and I uh, handle all the, all the melodies and, and, and rapping and things like that. Um, we have a guitar player named Brad Delson, um, and a uh, bass player named Phoenix. Brad and Phoenix met in college together, and uh, unfortunately Phoenix had to live with Brad for three years of his life uh, underneath him. And, uh, and uh, we have a DJ, his name is Joe Hahn. Him and uh, Mike Shinoda met in the Art Center. And uh, Robbie and Brad and Mike all got together when they were in, in high school. And uh, that's pretty much how it all came, to, came together. Well, Rob is, um, is a real genuine person, you know? Um, he's got a big heart and he also can beat the skins like no other person I've ever seen. Um, he's quite possibly one of the best drummers I've ever, I've ever seen, and just a really nice guy. Yeah. And Chester, better be careful. He's, pal. <laughs> well, first of all, he's beautiful. 
No, Chester is <laughs> Chester is also a great guy. I love I love being in a band with him. Um, as far as like his skills um, vocally, they're just they're far beyond anybody anybody I've ever worked with. Thank you. And um, you know, he's a really really passionate person. Like anything he gets involved in, he goes you know 150 percent, which is which is great because it sets a great tone for the rest of the band and for all of us to work together at that you know, with that kind of ambition. Thank you, Ross. Very nice. <laughs> Um, well, Crawling was our second video, obviously, because we've only made one, and uh, um, it was a different experience for us because uh, we really had a good concept of um, a really nice storyline, um, whereas like One Step Closer was almost so obvious that we wanted to do something different for it, and, uh, and it was also a different way of shooting because <clears throat> we did the entire video basically in front of a green screen, which... Um, it allows the director to uh, to put all the digital effects behind us. So we kind of had to pretend like we were in this, you know, icy cavern or something like that. And it was it was fun. And we also had um, a chance to like work with different camera speeds for the first time. So the majority of that video was shot actually in double speed. So we were like, it it, it turned into like a thrash song. <laughs> Which was kind of fun, and then you watch it back, and you're, it's like we're all in slow motion, which is like a really neat effect. Um, and the song basically um, deals with emotions of frustration and, and feelings of, uh, of insecurity within yourself and dealing with the problems that are, that are um, happening in your life. And this is just uh, one scenario that could be uh, related to the, the emotions in the song. And uh, it was it was a lot of fun to shoot. So check it out. Hope you enjoy it as much as we do. What's up, everyone? I'm Chester, and this is Rob from Lincoln Park. And you can catch us all week on MTV Home Base. I think what, it, well, I don't know if this is absolutely true or not, but I. My opinion on that situation is, is I think that um, it's important to have lyrics that people can, can relate to, um, and also to have good melodies and, and a strong rhythm section and, and all that kind of stuff. All of that is really important into making music that people enjoy listening to, um, because people enjoy music for different reasons, you know, um, for, in, in, in Rob's case, you know, he, he's a, more of a beat and, and rhythm oriented person who listens to music and in my case I'm more a mel a melody, melody driven person and lyrically driven person so um, we try to include all of those different aspects into what we do and uh, really try to push ourselves to be the best at that and I think that's what people really kind of catch on to hopefully in our music. Absolutely. Um, when, we write, when we write songs, it's a little bit different than the um, typical way of writing songs. We spend a lot of time in uh, recording our songs as we write them, um, rather than like sitting in hour, you know, long jam sessions that are almost endless. Um, and that 